Ave Maria, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today, we would like to share with you part six of a seven-part article written by Mark Mallet for his blog, The Now Word, published on his website, markmallet.com, on January 5th, 2022. He writes, The Mark. Quote, It forced all the people, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a stamped image on their right hands or their foreheads, so that no one could buy or sell except one who had the stamped image of the beast's name or the number that stood for its name. Book of Revelations, chapter 13, verses 16 and 17. Never in the history of mankind has the infrastructure and consequent technology existed for this, quote, mark to be possible until now. Already, many countries are barring their citizens from fully participating in the economy and even buying food without a, quote, vaccine passport. In Austria, it is mandatory for all eligible citizens to be injected or face fines or prison. Italy just announced mandatory injections for those over 50 or risk a fine of 600 euros to 1500 euros. And Australia has begun confining non-compliant individuals in COVID camps. But nothing is more ominous than the specter of, quote, digital ID passports. In countries like Sweden, 6,000 people have already been microchipped as vaccine passports are being rolled out. In fact, the World Economic Forum, the ones engineering the Great Reset, has promoted the microchip as a passport for everything. In April 2021, the Pentagon revealed that scientists have developed a chip to monitor health and disease. Tech startup Epicenter who is developing a chip to scan for vaccines, says, quote, Right now, it is very convenient to have a COVID passport always accessible on your implant, end quote. And scientists at MIT have already started clinical trials of a vaccine delivery system that can be stamped onto the skin. Quote, They created an ink that can be safely embedded in the skin alongside the vaccine itself and it's only visible using a special smartphone camera app and filter. From an article in Futurism on December 19, 2019. Ironically, the invisible, quote, ink employed is called, quote, luciferase, a bioluminescent chemical delivered through quantum dots that will leave an invisible mark of your immunization and record of information. Indeed, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are working with the United Nations program ID2020 that seeks to give every citizen on Earth a digital ID tied to a vaccine. Gates Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, is teaming up with the UN to integrate vaccines with some kind of biometric. But several scientists, including Dr. Wolfgang Mugard, PhD, former chair of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe Health Committee, has warned against the illusion that such passports will grant freedom to anyone. It seems a mark, whatever form it takes, by which alone one will be able to, quote, buy and sell, is no longer so-called Christian mythology, but an increasingly present reality. Please join us again for part seven of Mark Mallet's timely article in which he discusses the watchman's responsibility. Brothers and sisters, let us answer our Heavenly Mother's request to share Heaven's messages far and wide. Please share, like, subscribe, and click on the little bell so that you may be notified of the latest Heavenly messages as they come in. Did you wish you could say your prayers before the Blessed Sacrament? Well, now you can. Please join us to adore our Lord live from the Divine Mercy Center in Calgary, Canada. This also includes the Divine Mercy Chaplet and Litany before the Most Blessed Sacrament of the Altar in our channel's 24-7 prayer room titled Divine Mercy Adoration. May God bless you abundantly.